As I'm sure many of our alumni and family supporters know, Match Day is one of the most important days in a medical student's career. It's often seen as the culmination of four years of hard work, and for me, Match Day was last week. I'm excited to share with you all where I will be headed next year for residency, but first I'd like to talk about my journey here at Tufts. I grew up outside of Baltimore, about 25 minutes northwest of the city in a small suburb. I first moved to Boston in 2008 to start my undergraduate education at Boston College. At BC, I planned to major in biology and Hispanic studies and had aspirations of attending medical school directly afterwards. While I loved my time at BC, it wasn't exactly as I planned. I found myself during my senior year in a meeting with my assigned pre-medical advisor who told me that my application was not competitive enough to consider applying to med school at the time. I ended up leaving the meeting felt feeling as though my dreams of becoming a physician had been completely crushed. At the time, I leaned heavily on my mother for support. She snapped me out of my funk and made me realize that there were alternate ways to get to medical school. I ended up deciding to apply to a number of graduate programs to help me improve the deficiencies in my academic record, and the Master's in Biomedical Sciences program here at Tufts was one of such programs. In the fall of 2012, I enrolled in the Master's of Biomedical Sciences program at Tufts here on the Boston campus. I was stretched and challenged each day in the program to master an amount of material that's often compared to drinking from a fire hose. Fortunately though, I found support at many different points during the year. Somewhere along the way, I actually found with the support of the professors that I met here that I was doing much more than surviving the program, I was really thriving. On October 15, 2013, I was lucky enough to be accepted to Tufts for medical school. Uh, in the spring, before I had to commit to where I was going to attend a medical school, I learned that I had been awarded a quarter tuition need-based scholarship, and this really clinched my decision to stay at Tufts for my medical education. Had I not received this scholarship, I would be graduating with an additional $145,000 worth of debt. This may have compromised my interests in going into fields such as primary care, addiction medicine, infectious disease, in favor of those higher paying specialties. So I'm so glad to have had that support during my time here. While the past four years have challenged me on a daily basis, I've been so fortunate to be part of a community that really is based on support and taking good care of one another along with taking care, good care of patients. My classmates have become some of the most inspirational people I've ever met. They've really stepped up into roles that are incredible to witness. Many of them have served as uh, support for children at the floating hospital who are undergoing chemotherapy. Others have be become intricately involved with our Sherwood Clinic in Malden, which is a clinic for the underserved of Malden, completely student run. During my second year, I myself was a director of women's health on the executive board at Sherwood. Fortunately, I found that the sense of community that exists outside of the classroom at Tufts is also very present within the classroom at Tufts. Some of my biggest supporters during my time here have actually been my fellow classmates. I've spent so many hours with classmates um, studying for exams, whether it's in the anatomy lab, looking at minute structures that we have to be familiar with, or uh, heading to the simulation center on the opposite end of campus here to practice the latest details of our physical exam. We've all sort of recognized along the way that we'll be the ones caring for each other's families in the future, and we need to really bring each other up to be able to do a good job in that regard. So it's, it's been incredible to work with the other students and really develop this sense of community here. And along the way, many of them have become my best friends and will be friends for years to come. At Tufts, much of my training has focused on providing competent and compassionate care to a number of different types of individuals. And patients have often been my best teacher in this regard. During my third year, I did my internal medicine clerkship at Tufts Medical Center and I met a patient who stands out in many respects. His name is Mr. S. He presented to Tufts Medical Center after he was having increasing shortness of breath. He had actually been diagnosed with HIV unexpectedly, completely out of the blue, about 10 years earlier. However, at some point he had lost his insurance as a result of losing his job and fell out of care. And over the next week, my team took care of him during his hospitalization and I got to know him on a personal level better, mostly because we would walk around the seventh floor on, in Tufts Medical Center 
to see how his oxygen saturation was doing and over time he did improve and it was a real privilege uh, getting to see how much modern medicine has really played a role in a patient like him being able to recover. Had this been even 15 or 20 years earlier, he may have died of this opportunistic infection, um, but even more so of the progression of his, his HIV and AIDS. Secondly, this encounter with this patient really made me realize how much time you need to invest in developing a good patient-physician relationship and I'm so glad that Tufts has emphasized that at multiple points during my time here. I'd like to use this time to also recognize all of the supporters um, who have supported me financially during the past four years at Tufts. First to the Bingham Trust who have supported my time in the Tufts Student Service Scholars Program, Matthew and Brenda Ross, and also Paul and Janelle St. Amand. Tufts has prepared me to succeed in residency and well beyond as I aspire to become a physician who is both confident in my abilities and a competent and compassionate physician who is worthy to serve many patients in the future. I am very excited to announce that I will be taking all the skills that I've learned at Tufts over the past four years as I start residency this June at Brigham and Women's in Internal Medicine.